Day three took me to Angkor Wat, but my visit wasn't actually to see the temples, it was to see Peleated Gibbons in the wild. So I clipped my way to Siem Reap and I had exactly 24 hours to do it. Sick. And I finally made it to Thank the location you. and met one of the team from Wildlife Alliance. And after a quick walk through the jungle, there they were. Four Peleated Gibbons, one male, three females, now called Angkor Wat Home, thanks to Wildlife Alliance. They were rescued from the illegal wildlife trade and to see them swing, play, climb and feed in this environment was an incredible moment. And once they swung away, I found the driver and took a whistle stop tour around the largest religious monument in the world and clicked my way through Angkor Wat. I even managed to get some pics. And with a little more time Ooh. to kill in my day, I grabbed the tuk-tuk and went to the new Angkor Zoo. I met Mark, the curator, who took me behind the scenes. It was quality. And that was that, day three complete. So tune in for day four, where I document the dark side of the wildlife industry. How was it? Good? Good.